obviously a critical win. I thought our crowd was great, especially um, down the stretch. We appreciate everybody that came. We look forward to having the students back on uh, on Saturday. But I thought the crowd helped us big time, and um, you know they're a very good team. It's a huge, huge win for us. A quad one, um, quad one win, and um, they're going to be a team that that um, you know is going to be in the SEC uh, SEC race. So they've got great guard play. They do a great job manipulating matchups, but. I thought the difference in the game was obviously our rebounding. We had 23 offensive rebounds. They had 24 total rebounds. You know, we killed them on the glass, which allowed us to get more shots up than they did. And I thought we did a good job winning the free throw line. I wish, although I wish we would have shot it better from the free throw line. Obviously, Trendon made some tremendous plays down the stretch and finished them off at the free throw line. And Charles Manning with two huge defensive plays uh, at the uh, at the uh, at the end of the game. So. Very, very proud of our team. I thought it was a uh, very, very good win as we uh, kind of flip it around and get ready to play State on, uh, on Saturday. Glenn? Yeah, Coach, can you just kind of talk us through those final two possessions and the offensive possessions and then just Watford's ability to come up clutch like that? I think it was huge, you know, to try to admit, you know, it's not, you know, one thing that, that I look at is that, you know, Dave, Days was a little hurt down the stretch, so we had to be, we had to be a little careful with that. He'd been playing well. But for Trendon to, to miss the dunk and miss the bunny a couple minutes before that, that had, both of them had given up, would have given us the lead. For him to do that and be able to come back and make those winning plays and then have the poise to knock down the free throw after, after the big plays, I think is, is, um, is, 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 is tremendous. And uh, very, very uh, proud of him. The first play was a backdoor play where if we didn't have the backdoor, he was to, that meant they were overplaying him. And so, they were staying on top, so Trent was just to follow it with the drive, which is what he did. And then, um, you know, the second one was one of our um, uh, deep side out of bounds plays, and um, the first option was Days, and he wasn't open on the curl, so we got into Trent, and it just becomes a little bit of a of a single side ISO from there. Yeah, you know, well, you talked about you know finding somebody to close out a game for you. Just talk about your confidence in putting that game in the hands of a, of a true freshman. Well, I think. I think Trendon and, and, and Skyler certainly. I thought Skyler made some really good plays at point guard down the stretch for us. We kind of switched him and Javante off at point, which is something we've been working on and, and getting Skyler some more minutes and more touches at point. I thought those two did a nice job handling the ball and being able to being able to uh, to, to finish things out for us. You've been talking about uh, how he's been coming on. Trendon's been coming on lately. Is, is that what you've seen in practice? What he did tonight? In the yeah, game? you know, I thought. You know, part of what happened in the first half, I got so mad at our team because we've been practicing so well. I thought we were going to play great tonight. And we came out kind of lethargic. And we didn't have, like, we didn't have what I thought we were going to have. And so I kind of tore into everybody. Our team got a little discombobulated after I tore into everybody. So I had to calm myself down and calm the team down. Uh, I kind of contributed to us, not, uh, uh, you know, for them going on the run. And I, I just got, I, I got a little upset because I, I felt like we were, we had practiced a lot better than we played. I thought we were going to play really, really well tonight, which we did in the second half, but we didn't play that way. We weren't aggressive in the first half. But I think Trendon's been getting better at practice. I think our team's been getting better at practice, and uh, it, uh, it paid off tonight. Got to ask you a Jimmy Witt question. I've covered him a long time now. Have you seen anyone that shoots mid range? It's range? unbelievable. We, it's what we, I mean, he, he does that every game. I know, I know our fans are probably going, oh my yeah. gosh, 33 hit all these crazy shots. but. He hits those every game from 15 feet on in. He doesn't. He doesn't even take a three. You know, it used to be when he was a point. Even his first couple of years at Arkansas and at SMU, you know, he would shoot a couple threes and teams would back off. I mean, he 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 hadn't taken a three all year. And uh, you know, give him credit. He made he made his free throws tonight too. He's about 60 percent free throw shooter coming in. He made his free throws tonight. He played he played uh, really really well. But it's uncanny. You know, he's got a little bit of a he's got that natural kind of fade on his shot, so he's able to. One thing about him and Jones, you know, Joe, we did a pretty good job on. Him and Jones, because of the way they get their shots, because of how good they are with the ball, like, you basically, it's them and, you know, just hoping they miss. There's not a whole lot you can, there's not a whole lot you can do. You got to contest it as much as you can, but they both got fades and step backs and all sorts of things. Um, I thought Skyler, speaking of Jones, I thought Skyler made a huge play talking about closing games out on the charge there, too.